Welcome back to Monday Mod Tips. I, today I'm going to be showing off a new tool, essentially, uh, a training tool that I was uh, that I acquired through the Nerf Curator. You should definitely go check out his channel. He's got lots of cool stuff. But he acquired this. It is a uh, snap circuits kit, and it is for uh, a teacher's kit for teaching inter um, intermediate circuits, beginning and intermediate circuits. Um, so it has all sorts of fancy circuit things, uh, resistors and gates and switches and just all sorts of very fascinating uh, circuit tools, um, solar powered stuff, um, LEDs, counters, um, wires, circuit switches, motors, uh, just about anything you could want to learn uh, intermediate switch uh, stuff about circuits. And so I'm going to start using this to teach the circuits for electronic blasters. Um, sort of kind of a cross between my usual Monday Mod Tips and um, uh, Nerf Rewired. Uh, so this way you can see a very, very simple and easy to understand diagram of how things work as well as seeing it actually demonstrated. Uh, and we will see how well that works. If you guys think it's actually easier to understand, then I will continue on with it. Um, if you don't think it's helping or you think it's more complicated, then I'll sell it on eBay and move on. So here we have all the components for a Strife, or any of the Strife variants, any uh, semi-automatic flywheel powered blaster, you know, with a single rev switch, two motors, battery housing, so we've got all of those components. And you'll notice that the motors have been set up opposite of each other, so the positive is on this side and the positive is on this side, so that they will spin in opposite directions, uh, if wired correctly. You can go the other way around and then you just have to cross the wires instead of having them come directly across, which some people like if they're going to have a clear window on the side of their blaster, which I never understood, but some people are into that. So, uh, very simple wiring. We're going to connect the negative side together, and we are going to connect the positive side of the motors together. We are then going to connect the negative from the battery to the negative on the motors and the positive on the battery to the normally open on our switch. And it will usually be labeled on the switch which one is normally open. It will be NO. Uh, we then connect the COM, which will also be um, labeled COM, to the positive on our motors. And this is all you need for a simple strife. Okay, to see that actually uh, implemented in a strife, uh, we have here the negative coming out of the battery housing and going to the negative on the motors. We have positive coming from the battery housing going to the normally open on the switch, and I don't know if you can see the writing there, but it says NO right there. And then C for COM goes to the positive on the motors. And that's all there is to it. If you wanted motor braking, you'd have a negative coming from the battery housing also going to the normally closed on your switch. And that that's pretty much it. That The simplicity of the Strife is why we love them so much. So, there you have it. Onward. Now if you put on what we're going to use to simulate flywheels and push the trigger, they spin up. And you'll notice they're spinning opposite directions and they're spinning in towards the barrel so that it would send a dart flying. But you'll also notice that it takes a little while for it to slow back down. If we want to add motor braking, all we have to do is connect the negative on the battery to the normally closed on the switch. And now when we let go, they come to a halt much quicker. And this is used in a lot of Nerf blasters. They usually have this connected to the jam door. So if you open the jam door, the motors come to a halt rather than spinning down slowly. Um, and it's definitely used in the rapid strike and the stampede for very different reasons. But we will go into that when we go into the more complicated uh, blasters. First we'll go up to the conveyor belt blasters, the hyperfire and the regulator and the chaos and the nemesis, uh, all of which use a conveyor belt to feed. Um, which is more complicated than this, but simpler than the Rapid Strike, which is much uh, more complicated. But all of them use the same circuit for the rev system. So all of those blasters have a rev switch that goes to the motors in exactly this configuration. Uh, they just have different 
variations on the firing system, whether they use the conveyor belt system or the pusher system. Uh, and we will go into that in future episodes. So let me know what you think of this. I will have this diagram up on my Facebook page as soon as I can get it finished. Um, and then hopefully this uh, is a good way to explain how the wiring works. If you think this is more complicated or um, you think there's a better things that I should add, things I should take away, let me know uh, down in the comments and I will hopefully improve things. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.